Let's move on to a new session. I'm just going to go back to splice and find another sample that I can use. Drag this in to our beat. Cool. Go back to splice and look up some snares. Okay, so I like this snare here. Um, let me just figure out what beat I want it in. Uh, make sure that we're in grid mode here. Oh, that's relatively good. Okay, so let me see. Yeah. Two and hit. So that's kind of where I want it. I'm going to duplicate that a bunch. Okay, I'm also going to turn up the length of this reverb. Yeah. Okay, so now I've kind of created a new vibe for my next batch of samples. We're set up with our mic. Uh, we're gonna record enable this. So let's come up with a cool chord for this one. E uh, once again, just gonna double the same no. that's a cool effect okay so that that's actually a really great example of using your voice for effects and you can get creative with it uh you you'd be surprised what your voice is actually capable of if you just play with it a little bit so i'm going to double this e One more of these. All right, let's try this uh, another harmony. Okay, so that was kind of dissonant, but that's the sound that I want for this. I want it to sound creepy and weird. All right, awesome. Let's hear what else I got. Let's do that now. Oh, <clears throat> sorry, I did not give myself enough time. All right, one more of those. Now this is really good um, for ambiance and it kind of sounds like a siren or something like that. Okay, I think we're good on this one. That's a really cool pad. All right, on to a new channel. 150 BPM. record some automation by hand now. So we're going to add one bar count in and record. See how I'm moving this by hand. It's recording as I go. We're going to edit this automation, make it less extreme. That sounds awesome. 
awesome. OTT will definitely help this feel louder. So let's open OTT and change the amount of the EQ balance. It sounds much brighter. Let's see. All right, we're going to add reverb to smooth this out. Wow, that's beautiful. I love that. Elastic pitch to add an octave would be awesome on this. Alright, so this is our mix knob. Wow. Try an octave up. That's so cool. This is probably my favorite sample we've done so far. Wow. Alright, so let's automate this reverb as well. Turn that up. Shaper box too for a pumping effect would also work. So let's open that up. Click volume, choose a curve, and adjust the mix. Very simple. All right, I like this curve, so we're gonna stick with that. This sample just keeps getting better. I think we're ready to bounce this now. So let's highlight and export and bounce. 